Hey everybody, welcome back, it's Daniel. So in the last couple of videos, or really the last video, we created this kind of, you know, e-commerce style app where we have these images that are showing up. It's being pulled directly from JSON. So if we go into main fragment, which you can open up on the left side, you can see we're actually going to a URL and we're getting that text. And then we do some quick logging. Then we go ahead and convert that into an object, which is gonna be this object right here. So it has a title and a photo and a price. And we're saying that, hey, give it to our recycler view. So our products adapter, we go, we could command click on side of there and go into our adapter. And you can see here are all of our, you know, this is where I kind of set up stuff. So this is where I have our image, title and price. And if we go into the layout by, let's see, where's the layout? So if you go into product row, I'm going to command click on that. And on the right, you can see a preview. You can see, hey, we have a place for an image. We have a place for uh, organic applesauce, or let's just placeholder there just a second. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so we're good. So this is just a little, this is just a little preview. So I want to go back to the emulator again. There's one thing that I do want to fix. I want to add a loading icon. So you notice if I click on one of those, well, this image is also needs to be fixed. But if we go back, sometimes it takes a little bit to load these images. So say you were to have 80 or 100 images, it might take a couple of seconds at least, if not, you know, five or 10 seconds to actually load all of that. So you want to display a loading icon when the user goes to that page. So let's, that's great. Let's go ahead and just close everything to start off on a blank slate. Let's go into main fragment. And the first thing we need to do is go into our layout. So we can look for on create view. And if we command, if we look uh, down below a line, you can see that we have ma fragment main. So I'm going to command click on that, go inside of there. And on the left side uh, that you can go into text or design mode, I'm going to go into design mode for this, even though I rarely use it. And then we also have our palette on the left. We can open that up where it's got a widget and then a progress bar and I'm going to add that to the design. So there it is. It's at the top left corner. I'm going to save that. But we also want to make it in the center. So I'm going to click on the arrow, click and drag to the right. Then I'm going to click and drag to the left. That should center it. Then I'm going to click and drag to the bottom. Then I'm going to click and drag to the top. So, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And you can do that pressing the icon right there, the green circle, the green play icon, or I, you can use the keyboard shortcut. I always use this keyboard shortcut. Anyways, so now we have our spinning icon, but you'll notice, hey, all the pictures are loaded and it's still displaying the loading icon. That's because by default, a progress bar will just display a spinning icon forever, like forever and ever. It will never stop. So what we want to do is we want to go back into main fragment. So we have main fragment here over on the left and we kind of want to, so we kind of look through this. We have on create view. We kind of set up our layout. We make sure it says, hey, you know, fragment main. That's what we want to use here, this layout. But in the last video, what we did is we actually pulled some data. So we did that in the background thread. So the user can do, do, be doing other stuff while this is going on. And we say, hey, go to this URL, get some JSON file and give it to the variable JSON. Next, we next say, you know, five seconds later or however long it takes that icon to load, what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, go to the UI thread, which is the main Android view, and we're going to convert that into a class and we're going to give it to the recycler view. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, so now that we have the data here, let's do this. So, so by the way, let's go back to fragment main. And if we select the progress bar, you can see over on the right, that it has an idea of progress bar. Or you can also see it here where we have an idea of progress bar. So let's go ahead and go back to main fragment. And here, let's do this. Let's do progress bar. Uh, that's right, dot visibility equals view dot gone. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to run that. I'm going to go back to the emulator and we'll see what happens. And it crashes. So what's the crash? Um, if we go and inspect it, is this right? 1248? Yeah, it should be right. Um, it looks like progress bar is null. So because we're inside of a fragment, we have to do something a little bit different. So we have this variable at the top called root. And root has a, root has a reference to kind of this layout setup tool. So what we need to do is we need to do this. We need to do root, because remember, that's our root variable. Uh, then we can put the dots 
progress bar dot visibility. So I'm just going to add that to the line above. No need to add another one. So we'll do let's do root dot, and then that should work. I'm going to save that. I'm going to run it or use the keyboard shortcut, and this loading icon should work. Yeah, there it is. So we saw it for a second, then it went away. That means everything is loaded, and and it has. So I'm going to go. I can click on one of these and go back. But it loads instantly, so there's no need. It's not going to display it then. Um, we could kill it, uh, then run it again. And it might take a couple of seconds. Yeah, so we saw the loading icon briefly appear. So, no, so that's fixed. So that's good. I also want to go ahead and get rid of that line because we don't need it. And what I'm going to do here is let's... I don't really like the way these images are showing up because some of them are, they just don't look quite right. So, I mean, they look okay, but they're not cropped in a certain way. Like if we look at the layout, I think that's called product row. And if we open up the preview on the right, you can see that this image is nice and square. It goes pretty much all the way to the bottom of the title. But if we look here, there's a bunch of white space between this image and the name there. So what's going on is, close that. What's going on is this image view is it's fitting don't even have that yeah this is right right no yeah this is this is correct okay so what we need to do is we need to go to product row open that up and let's do a new line let's do um scale type equals center center crop so there we are center crop so i'm going to go ahead and run that and go back to the emulator and this should look a little bit different the images should all be square because it's going to crop some of them so we saw our loading icon and now this that image looks like a square that looks like a square they all look like square so that's good so we fixed another thing so i'm going to go ahead and go back to here i'm going to go ahead and close all and this might be a good point to go ahead and open up git and make a commit really quick or use it uh, or use uh android studio whatever so we have this here so if we go ahead and, and if we if I click on the small jeans, notice how it shows the shirt. And in fact, that's being hard coded. So whatever you click on, it's always going to be this be this blue dress shirt. Let's change that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find out how to get from this screen right here to the details screen. And I happen to know in a previous video it's products adapter. And if you come down here into on create view holder, you'll see that we have uh, all of this right there has to do with click listener. So we get our row and each little each uh, each square there, each square there is a row. So all the way down to there, and we're saying, hey, whenever somebody clicks on that, um, whenever somebody clicks on that, I want to do something. I want to do all of that right there. So we have an intent, and it's going to say, hey, we're going to start at this screen. We're going to go to this screen. We're going to pass it some extra data there, and we're going to say, hey, we're going to start that new activity. So this is all working, and you'll notice that the, we're sending across the title. So if I go back to Android Studio, see it says small jeans. I click on there, and it says small jeans. Or I click on yellow shirt, and it says yellow shirt. So we're passing the text. We're passing this title, and we get it that way, but we're passing the title from here inside of product details and i'm going to command click on product details and you can see we kind of do the same thing here yeah we're getting the title and we're setting that product's text to whatever the title is so we kind of need to do the same thing for the url so i'm going to duplicate that line there and we're going to do we're going to name this we'll name this photo url and what do we want to pass it we we want to pass it if we get rid of that we can pass it a photo url so I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to run it just to make sure it doesn't crash because I'm a big fan of running really often. And it looks nice. We saw the loading icon. Uh, this all looks great. Okay, so click on there. Uh, what do we change? Oh yeah, so just to make sure it didn't crash. And no, it didn't crash. So that's good. So we're sending we're sending we're sending the uh, data the photo URL as an intent extra. So we're sending that along to the next activity. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's go back to product details. And you can see how we have, we're already getting the title here. That's what that line is for. We need to do another line. Let's do val photo URL equals of then intent dot get string extra. And it was called photo URL. So photo URL there. And we'll get that. Okay, cool. So you'll notice that it's grayed out there. That's because this variable is not being used anywhere. 
So what do we have to do? We already have Picasso. And actually, I'm going to give it some space there. So I'm going to put an error there. What we need to do is use Picasso to load that image right there. Because right now, if I click on Product Details and click on Preview on the right, you'll notice that it's just hard-coded. It's hard-coded to be a shirt. And if we Command click on there, we can see, yes, it's just a shirt in our Drawables file. There's our shirt. So there it is. Okay. So we have that, um, and we'll probably want to get rid of that in a future, maybe this video. But let's go back to product details, and we have our photo URL. So let's use Picasso to let's use Picasso to actually load this image. So Picasso .get .load, and then we want to load the photo URL, which is right up there. We want to load that into, and then I think we have photo. So photo from product details, that's the one we want. And I think this might be it. So just to clear thing, I'm gonna go ahead and load that. And let's go back to the emulator. And let's go ahead and, so we have our loading icon. That took a little bit. Okay, black shirt, I'm gonna click on there. And now we have our image there. So that's of the couple kissing or whatever. Here are small jeans. We have uh, uh, khaki jeans. And again, this is just random data, I didn't really, like this is a yellow dress shirt, but it's really a guy on the sand. Um, so not exactly what it's supposed to be, but hopefully you have better pictures than this. So you'll notice there's a little bit of white space at the bottom there and there's white space at the top. Let's go ahead and let's clean that up. So we need to go into product details. And what we can do is let's go ahead and just get rid of this source. We don't need that anymore. And let's do this. Let's do, uh, oh, so it already has a scale type. So let's do fit center. Instead of that, let's do crop center. So center crop actually. So I'm gonna save that, run it. And if we go back to the emulator, we should see that if we click on, say this picture right there, now it's a perfect square. It should be a perfect square. Let's see. Oh, it's just 300 height. Okay, so it's not, a, it's not exactly a square. But anyways, that's how we do that. You know, I don't like that. I don't like the spacing around the image there. I want to get rid of that gap, that white gap. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's delete that line. So we save that. And if I go ahead and run it, that's get, that gets rid of padding around it. So let's just wait and click on small jeans. And there we go. Now the image takes up all of the top space. There's no white space around the top left and right edges. But now we'll notice we have a different problem. The small jeans and see if it's available. That's right next to the left side of the screen and it doesn't really look good. Let's do this. Let's do marge. Let's do, yeah, marge. Let's do marge and left. We'll do it 16 dp. That gives it a little bit of spacing. Same thing here, we'll do uh, marge and left, uh, 16 dp, and that didn't work. Uh, marge and left, let's do, so 16 dp, oops, we messed something up there, I'm gonna get rid of that line. And what's going on here? Patty and left. This is the button, right? Let's do, uh, oh, let's do this. Let's do left, left, parent. And let's change this back to margin. It's not working. So margin, oh, there we go. So I needed to add, I don't I think it was had to do with this, uh, left to left up. So we need to, so we, we didn't actually constrain the button to the left side of the screen. So now what we just added was margin left and we can change that to margin start for languages that start in right to left or whatever. But what we needed to add was this left to left of. Um, left of parent, which means the parent is this tag right there. And then that tag goes all the way from there, all the way to the closing constraint tag there constraint layout tag there and it encompasses the entire screen. Okay, so I think this is good. I'm gonna go ahead and run it and I'm gonna go back to the emulator one last time. And we should see, let's go ahead and click on that image. And yeah, there's some space there. So there's a lot we can do to this e-commerce. Oh, there's one more thing I wanna do. So you notice how on this screen here, to go back to the main screen, we have to actually click the button and there's no back button up there in the toolbar. Let's fix that really quick. So, this, so we have this details, the product details here, and I'm gonna open up product details. 
And you'll notice it has this screen here, which is this basically the details screen here, this screen right there. So that's the right one. So we have product details. We know this is the screen that we want to put a back button on. So let's go into the manifest and search for product details. And let's go ahead and add some text inside of there. Let's do this. Let's do parent activity name and then main activity. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to run it and go back to the emulator for one last time, I think, at least in this video. So it loaded here. Let's, let's go ahead and click on this khaki jeans. And now we have a back button. So if we click the back button, it just takes you back to this screen. So we can click on yellow dress shirt or whatever. We can go back. Um, there's all kinds of stuff we can do to improve this, but this is kind of the basics. In a future video, I might, I might uh, go over Google Cloud Platform's cloud functions, where you can scale this app for maybe, maybe about $100 a month. You might be able to scale to a couple of million users. It's pretty cheap. Um, so I guess that's it for this video. So we got the, we got the, the images loading. We got this image loading to whatever was before it. We got the back button working. We cropped some of the images. We have the full image there. I think we made a lot of progress in this video. Um, if you like this or if you didn't, if you had some trouble with something or you have questions, leave them in the YouTube comments below and I'll see you in the next video.